And here are some example problems that will use the acceleration due to gravity. And the first one, a piano is dropped off the roof of a building. So here's the building. And here's this girl standing up here throwing the piano off. Actually, she's just dropping it off. She's not throwing it. She just holds it out there and lets it go. So there's the piano. And of course, when she releases it, it accelerates down. And we know the acceleration. It's 9.8 meters per second squared. And here's, here's the equations. Well, we're asked, how fast is it moving after 5 seconds? So we're dealing with the acceleration, and our, our, our equation for acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity over time. And you, you can think of that as the change in velocity over time. How many meters per second does the velocity change per second? Now, if she just holds the piano out there and drops it, the initial velocity is zero. So we draw an arrow through there and put a zero, and that's a standard mathematical notation indicating that that thing right there goes to zero. And if that's zero, then the equation simplifies to this, final velocity over time. And we want to know how fast it's moving after five seconds, so we want to know Vf. So we do the algebra here. We simply multiply both sides of the equation by t, and you remember the rule. We can do something like this as long as we do exactly the same thing to both sides. And this t that we put on the right, remember, can be thought of as t over 1, so it's really up in the numerator, so it cancels out with that one. So all that's left on the right side is Vf, the final velocity and what's on the other side is t times a. So I'm going to rewrite that like this. The final velocity is a times t. That's typically how that equation is written. And that's how you get there from your definition of acceleration. So the final velocity is simply the acceleration times the time. So let's do the math. 9.8 meters per second squared, that's the acceleration, times the time. The time was given as 5 seconds. And in this case, this seconds cancels one of these. That seconds over there on the right, right here, that's in the numerator. Remember, 5 seconds over 1. So that cancels out one of those, leaving us, you should see right there, with meters per second for our, our, the units for our answer. Meters per second, which is what we would expect for velocity. So 9.8 times 5 comes out to 49 and it's 49 meters per second.